Okay, hi. It is May 24th of 2017. I have not added videos super recently, and I am very sorry about that. Um, but I kind of made a really dramatic shift from talking about sports to now talking about my life and my future. Um, I decided to go to the University of Vermont, and I will be studying biomedical engineering. Um, I'm going into the wellness program, which talks about basically healthy minds, healthy bodies, healthy brains, and then how that should kind of trigger healthy, a healthy lifestyle. Basically, that's what it's all about. Um, so... I did play soccer for my high school season, and I'm just going to talk about that really fast because this was supposed to be like a vlog, I guess, on like my ACL experiences, but kind of like I'm just transferring it into like how I'm developing as a person. Um, as of this moment right now, we are done with our soccer season, unfortunately, but we made school history and we won conference. We were co-champions, but that's never happened at Barlow High School ever, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then we made it through our first round of regional playoffs, but the final regional game we lost 2-0 in. Uh, but overall, it was a really great experience. I was actually voted on and I was a captain, which I wasn't really expecting. I really wanted that position, but I wasn't expecting it. So when I got it, I was like really, really happy. Um, and it was just wonderful to be given the opportunity to lead girls, have them look up to you. And they have like told me multiple times throughout like the whole season that they were thankful for everything that I was doing and for always being there for them. And that just means the world to me. Um, so overall, soccer was significantly better than basketball season. Um, we actually like broke records. I played like a lot, which is really cool. Um, it's nice to be a part of something and working with people who have the same central goal as you. And it's really nice to be in a supportive community because I just felt that so much more in, during my soccer season. Um, so now reflecting on the whole life side of things, as a senior graduating to anyone who's watching this that's an underclassman, Grades are important, but I've found that mental health is significantly more important. If your mind is in a million different places, how do you expect to focus on one thing? Oh, that's right, you can't. <laughs> I want this to be like extremely honest, as honest as possible. Uh, I'm sure to no one's surprise, but um, I opened up my like Infinite Campus, whatever, like our grading system today, and I started crying because I got, I, failed my, it's hard to say that I hate that word, it's my second least favorite F word, um, failed my calculus BC final. Definitely not something I was proud of, however, I studied for it, I made a study guide, I shared my study guide with others, um, of course, I shared my study guide with one kid, he got a B on the test, I used my own study guide, failed it. I don't know, but I just think that that is a representation of how sometimes in life things don't go the way we want them to. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, it is blatantly obvious that I did not plan on a lot of things in my life happening, but they did happen, so whatever. It's okay. We're going to get through it. Um, I'm going to... Well, I just talked about mental health. Uh, shifting into the whole mental health side of things, um, if you're going to graduate high school, there's like high honors, honors, and then it's like all like based on GPA. So after school I came home and I was like so mad, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have A's and B's in my like AP classes. Now because of that uh, one test that I did not obviously do very well on, um, I had a solid B plus the entire semester in Calc BC, which was an AP class, and then I did awful on my final, and now I have a C plus in the class. So that brings my, I have two C's now on my report card, and I started freaking out like no other, because I'm not going to graduate now with, uh, like, I'm not going to graduate now with high honors, academic. Oh, honor roll. There's high honor roll and there's honor roll and I'm not going to graduate on like the high honor roll because my GPA is going to make a little mess up from like those grades. And I was like, that's frustrating, but I can't let that, get, like, I'm a senior. It's going to be okay. Like I'm going to go places and do other things and it's really going to be okay. And I just had to tell myself that. So, I mean, there's like so much more to life than, um, always getting good grades. And I just want to put this clip in there really fast. I'm just going to like list a couple of the awards that I won this year um, that some are based off of grades but typically it's like personality, how I acted and whatnot so here's that. 
Okay, so starting with basketball, I won Academic All Conference. Um, I got the Heart of the Hawk Award, which I may have already mentioned. I think I already mentioned that in one of my other videos. Um, and then I got my little, like, my, my varsity letter. Okay. And then for the Bartlett Academy that I am in, um, which is a graduating class of 86 at um, my high school, um, a whole bunch of people voted on things, and I was voted most optimistic, <laughs> and I was also voted for the best antidote for the spleen, which means most likely to cheer you up. Um, and then at the end of the presentation, um, some teachers came up and they presented these really big awards, these like super big plaques, and I was like, I wasn't really expecting to, I didn't even know what they were, I wasn't expecting to win one. Um, and then uh, they talked about how some people go through like a lot and they endure a lot and this teacher said that this person never really got what they had hoped for they tried really hard and their work never kind of showed the effort they put into it you could tell they tried really hard they slipped on water they couldn't get through doors and I was like oh my gosh that sounds like me when I was on my crutches sure enough and they go the person who persevered the most through the academy Brooke Bednarki and I was like Thanks. <laughs> so I got this, the Hawken Award, um, which basically it says winners succeed where quitters always lose. What I take away from it is that if you persevere and continue to fight through and try your hardest that good things will come. Um, I got a scholarship to go to UVM and I'm getting a lot of money because of my grades. And that was all based on my application. It wasn't based on how I finished and I'm not saying it's not important finishing in life or school. It is extremely important. However, you should not come to the point where you are crying yourself to sleep. Because I've been there and done that, and you're not going to get anything out of that. Um, like I tell my sister, if you're trying to study through tears, you're not going to be able to see what you're looking at. There's a metaphor in that. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make this little video, and I'll definitely be adding more as like the summer goes along with my experiences and whatnot. But... Basically, I just want everyone to, like, remember, I just want to remind everybody that life has curveballs, but it's okay to try and face them head on, and you can get the support of your friends, your family, I'd be more than happy to talk with any of you, but everything will be okay, and things that are in the past are in the past, and you really can't change them. I can't get mad at the fact that I studied and did not do well in my final, because, I mean, I can't get mad, but... I tried. And sometimes that's all you can do. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them away. Uh, and thank you for watching this video if you did. Have a great day. <laughs>